So what do I mean by spiritual development and how does that relate to voice work and why is it important and part of the vocal journey? So we've spoken about all these different areas that support a healthy voice and more confident vocal expression like looking after the body and making sure we're physically okay, the emotions our mind, our social relationships and it comes down to our spirit. How well are we caring for our spirit or our soul, ourselves? And that is a really, really personal relationship. So the way to approach this is to think about self-care practices that you might use already that support you and this is completely non-denominational so it doesn't matter what your belief system is if you follow certain practices or if you are religious when we talk about spiritual development it's just about finding tools to nourish and care for your inner voice, that inner child or the part of you that knows how to look after and take care of you. But what I will share with you are a couple of tools that are really supportive and beneficial and they can be applied um like as part of a daily routine or something to tap into and connect with if you're feeling a bit low on energy or you've tried some other techniques and approaches to work with vocal release or a creative activity and you don't feel like any of those things are helping. Usually at that point I find it's helpful to come to some resources within the vocal piece element and just get back to basics and think, okay, how can I look after myself and my spirit right now? So I am sharing with you some breath work, which I think is really valuable and you can connect with that anywhere, anytime. You don't need any equipment for that, which is great. And I'm also dropping a link in the video below to a guided meditation, which will take you to an online library page on the website where you can download that for free. So you can save that to any device that you're using. And that meditation will be on the subject of grounding. So what is grounding? When we are rushing around and really busy and full of energy and distracted by things, we are in the flow and quite often our day can grow arms and legs and before you know it we're rushing around, we feel a little bit stressed or just that we are not in our centre. You feel a little bit disconnected or easily distracted. Maybe you your mind is very busy. They're just a few of the side effects that are noticeable when we feel ungrounded. And groundedness is about maintaining your connection of stability and your sense of self and your connection to your immediate environment and we talk about it often in relation to grounding down to the earth because the earth is underneath us and it supports us and it can be a really helpful visualization tool to see if we can connect to that space in our mind's eye and bring our focus and attention away from the head for a few minutes and just down into the earth and to ground. And 
as you listen to that meditation, I hope that it will give you a sense of relaxation and allow you to connect with your breath and body awareness as well. So the benefits of that are many and it means that you can use that at a point in your day where you feel like you just need to chill out a little bit and then approach the next tasks that you have to take on from a more balanced um, feeling in your energy. So as I said, um, there is absolutely no uh, prerequisite or no experience, previous experience required for you to engage with that or to engage with the breath work both are really helpful and useful both definitely support voice and singing through helping us connect with our physicality and with our awareness of what our energy levels are like and also as we use tools like meditation or visualization in relation to tuning into okay how do I feel right now what's going on externally to me it helps give us a clearer sense of how we can observe spaces external to us environments interactions with people and so on so it can be a tool that over time if you come to use again and again It's like anything, it's a muscle and a reflex that if you practice and you work with, you'll find it much easier to negotiate challenging situations and manage stress levels and just get back to that sense of yourself when you feel like you've lost your way on the the path of your day a little bit. So that is all I have to share with you just now, but keep your eyes peeled and there are plenty of resources available on the website to help you in that department if you feel like you want some extra guidance with that so yeah happy exploring and I am about to guide you through a really gentle and easy practice which is about breath And this can be applied to your general overall warming up routine um, to prepare you for working with the voice using speech or singing and performance. But what we do here will also give you a framework and a way to connect with the breath to scan your energy levels, to get an idea of body awareness and where you might be holding extra tension that's not helpful and also really importantly as a tool to promote general well-being and relaxation as well. So breath is amazing and it is going to be one of your most useful tools to return to that can be applied across the board so don't worry Uh, breathing when it comes to singing especially is something that causes a lot of anxiety for many people and they hear often the phrases like oh support your breath correct and proper breathing and um this throws lots of people into a panic. So hopefully I can demystify some of that for you. And what I am going to cover a little is to talk about the diaphragm and the muscles that we are engaging when it comes to breath as well. So yes, uh, you don't need anything for this exercise other than You might want to have a quiet space that you will not be disturbed and sitting on the bus is quite a good time to check in with your breathing and just have a few minutes to chill and zone out and um, do that or 
when you wake up first thing in the morning or when you're going to bed and you're actually lying in bed and have some quiet space and that's a good time to feel into the body and to try and find the diaphragm if you don't know where it is so let's talk about that really quickly so the belly button the diaphragm my belly button's here and the diaphragm I'm feeling into this space here so yep belly button there and here but it's not just reserved to the front there's also a whole lot of musculature that is connecting around the back and sides as well and the intercostal muscles that we're going to be using to expand and contract the chest so there's a lot going on but when you hear someone talking about diaphragmatic breathing they are referring to that area down there so the best way you can connect with that is just to place your hands there gently breathing in and out and sensing and feeling into what's going on many people still can't feel it and they kind of go oh where is the diaphragm and what's going on and am I not breathing properly your diaphragm is always working for you it's just this unconscious process that's happening as breathing is this reflex that is ongoing all the time that we kind of take for granted but the diaphragm is always working but it is a muscle that needs to be trained and developed and if you want to support yourself in being able to sing longer phrases or to have a nice even tone with your sound then the diaphragm is definitely something important to engage with and the best way we can do that is just connecting to overall breath overall body awareness and feelings of relaxation because then we're in a much more receptive space to be able to feel and sense and know and understand what is actually going on for us so yeah and if you're lying down on the floor or in your bed that is a really good way for you to feel into that space as well just bringing your hands there breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and sensing where the movement is where the stretching where the expansion is happening and if that's still tricky for you you can take your hands to your side and your back kind of above the kidneys and just notice that when you breathe and expand that area is also moving there's this interrelationship between many different areas that are going on and everything is is moving and connecting with each other so what we're going to do now is I'm just sitting feet flat on the floor nice and relaxed posture hands on my lap and you might want to close your eyes if that helps you to focus and just tune in so we're not doing any uh, aggressive or intensive breathing right now we're just slowing down so just be still for a second just disconnect from everything external that's going on background noise what you had for breakfast what you have to do tomorrow just come into this space of observation where we're looking internally and we're going to find the breath where is the breath could be shallow it could be sitting in the chest you might feel or sense it as being somewhere else in the body because you've been running around busy and doing things so just give yourself a moment to catch up with yourself and to fall into a pattern of nice gentle easy relaxed natural breathing and when you feel like you have got to that place we're just going to observe the breath so we're trying as best we can 
in through the nose and out through the mouth just because that allows us to feel the subtle differences between our internal and external space and it also encourages a kind of slowness and a gentle pace compared to um, a panting breath that we might be using if we've been exerting or exercising like so let's just slow 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 in through the nose and out through the mouth just nice and chilled in your own way everyone is a different shape and size everyone has a different lung capacity everyone's diaphragm is a different size so go at your own pace do what feels comfortable and if you have any respiratory issues or asthma or anything like that then just be mindful too. We're not going to be doing anything intensive so just keep it nice and relaxed. And out. So now this would be the space that we kind of go into a bit of a check-in with ourselves where is the breath how does it feel is it easy is it raspy is it tense what about my body are my shoulders rising up are they nice and dropped are there any holding patterns anywhere in the body as I breathe with a more focus and more of my attention and, and energy towards breath, what can I notice about the process of that? And those answers will be completely personal to you. So just feel into what that means. And perhaps this might be a new experience for you if you're a very, very busy person or you haven't come to voice work before, breath work might be a little bit of a mystery um, or something that you've just not had the right kind of time and space to sit with. But it is a really, really helpful and powerful tool which is so simple and it's yours. You can literally come into your own perspective and your own physicality and your own energy for even just half a minute and just sit with your breath and that's something there's something really powerful in that that you can do that at any point even if there's chaos happening around you if you can come back to the breath and just kind of re realign for a moment and um calm your central nervous system down give yourself some extra space to think so that you can move forward and make better decisions that are going to help take you to the place that you want to reach next so let's move into three nice deep breaths now um, and we're seeing if we can expand our capacity and expand the feeling of okay I'm drawing in this oxygen and this energy and where can I send it to in my body like how how big can I make that breath how expansive can I open and soften to accommodate the breath because that's what it's going to require if we're tense and we're locked up we can't breathe in a nice, relaxed way. So just move into these three breaths with that intention to take it a little deeper each time. But again, just go at your own level and what feels right for you, okay? So in. And out. in and out one more time it's 
So I personally notice a difference just in three breaths, literally slowing down and bringing all of my focus and attention to what is coming in and what I'm releasing. Um, that just takes me completely into my body and completely into like, oh, what's my energy levels like right now? And on that last release of breath, I kind of feel, oh, I might have let a little bit of heaviness or tension go. So if you want to explore that in a more meditative kind of practice, um, then that is absolutely okay to do and I would definitely encourage you to explore that and you can think about the intake and exhale of breath as being related to intentions like okay what do I want to take in what do I want to release or let go so that can be a, a really powerful um, process and it's totally personal and the best thing about it is that nobody has to know what's going on uh, for you if you don't want to articulate that or vocalise that. You can just let out some stress if that is what you need to do. And obviously, as we transition from that space into maybe warming up the voice, you can even start to integrate some sound on your out breath. So you can breathe in. <sighs> and sigh out and that can be really powerful as well um you think oh it's just a breath but um sometimes we all need a good <sighs> to get out the um the tension of the day so yeah play with it and see what comes up for you and there is no um no correct way that I'm going to uh, impose on you with that. The only thing to mention is that if you decide to use the breath with more of a focus towards uh, training and developing um, how uh, resilient and flexible you can be with sustaining sound, there are lots of tools that you can use for that. So for example, you can breathe out through almost a straw restricting the space through which the air is coming out and that really helps to engage and activate the muscles there and you'll definitely feel what's going on you'll feel like you're having to work harder to release that so with uh, things like that if you are going to spend a chunk of time doing that or doing anything uh, with holding the breath or restricting airflow, like quite often people will inhale, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath, exhale. And that is um, a useful technique. If you're going to be doing it for a while, just go slow and easy because it's quite um, common for people to feel lightheaded and uh, dizzy um, if you're doing that for a while so yeah keep it nice and chill and I hope that there are some useful things that you can take away from this and apply to uh, your voice practice and warming up and also just finding a little moment of peace and calm in your day and yeah <laughs>